The main objective of this uh, uh, RBBEA is to determine and empower the new generations that is uh, just coming from the uh, academic institutions and to fulfill the gap between the industry and the academia. As this three-day training is intensive training about the um, gaps between the academia and the um, uh, industry, the banking industry that uh, in different sectors like the banking uh, technology as well as the um, new fintech and the securities really associated with the new technology as well as the bankings and the new com uh, compliance, uh, the uh, financial integrity of the entire ecosystem of the country, uh, financial uh, ecosystem of the country. Uh, it will go soon, uh, we will take the, some uh, feedback from uh, this training and uh, getting that, uh, keeping in mind on that feedback will uh, uh, continue training in other states as well. This is going on the, to empower the um, local uh, generations, the new generations coming into the market and uh, it will go uh, uh, regular, on a regular basis. The future plan of EA is to uh, continue to um, uh, recover the gaps between the academia and the uh, industry and it will go um, uh, in the future as well. Uh, my name is Devesh Lohani, I am working uh, this um, uh, working RBB since last 25 years. Besides that, I am also working as a um, ISO 27001 lead auditor for the Nepal. It is uh, recognized by the uh, International uh, uh, Registrar for Certifying Authorities. So uh, till now, I am only the one regist uh, people for the 27 uh, person for the 27001, and I am also uh, certified as COVID and the ITIL standards. I'm working for the cyber security as well. And uh, I'm also uh, giving training to the cyber security and the cyber uh, resilience in the different parts of the country as well as from the abroad. Right now I'm taking the digital banking. It's a new uh, avenue for the bankings in this 21st century, as well as the security associated with the FinTech as well as uh, the entire um, uh, in, uh, this uh, systems of internet, the social medias, and uh, the uh, legal provisions associated uh, within the country and behind the cross-border uh, uh, existence of the um, uh, security issues. Today's younger generation uh, are very familiar with the fintech. They are uh, they don't want to go on the big brick and mortar bra branches of the banks. They want to go um, on the fintech uh, area, area. But in the meantime, they are not aware of the uh, current security problems associated within the uh, fintech as well as from the uh, social medias. People are uh, using social medias from their phones. Once they are using, uh, uh, transferring their money while they are in the uh, restaurants or the airports, they get the free mobile, free hotspot, and it's very dangerous for uh, them. So this training uh, um, will try to uh, show them what are the problems associated with this and uh, what will happen if they fail, if, they, if their uh, um, information is captured and sell to some bad uh, people. Security is not only the technical part. It is also a managerial part, management of the bank as well as management of the people. Though we are very familiar with the um, uh, security issues of the banks, we use passwords, we use uh, tokens, we use uh, diesel certificates, everything we use. But if we use this on the hotspot, free hotspot. What will happen? The bad guy uh, residing near uh, by that person can uh, collect all the informations and they can use the same informations and uh, get uh, access to the system. So electronic banking or the internet banking, if we uh, uh, take seriously, it's secure. But in the meantime, 
the uh, the user as well as the bank should take care of who are using the systems and there should be a lot there should be a uh, security event um, information management system should be installed in the bank system and the people who are working should aware that the security why security is necessary for the um, uh, social media so electronic banking uh, i'm teaching uh, from since uh, last 20 years uh, in different levels from class 5 to masters levels as well as I'll, I'm also uh, providing uh, guidance to the research students in one hand in another hand I'm also provide uh, uh, mentoring in security issues in Nepal and uh, uh, Bangkok and also uh, provide security services and the audit services to the uh, Indian banking industries. It's very good since being a government entity, it's new avenues that we have uh, started and it will help uh, the government, the people and the entire financial society in the right, uh, right direction from where we have to move and how to secure our entire economic uh, ecosystem. I'll say that Nowadays, people do not want to go on uh, banking as I've already mentioned that brick and mortar banking is going to reduce now in uh, many uh, areas of the um, many areas uh, of the uh, financial societies, many areas of the uh, world. But in the meantime, we have to keep in mind that there should be a relationship between the banking and the customers. The main disadvantage of the uh, digital banking or the uh, virtual banking is they have uh, disconnected with the um, uh, bank. The bank and the um, customer are not joined together. They have no emotional relationships in one hand. And on the other hand, there is security issues. We have to, uh, keep, in, uh, we have to uh, keep in mind that these security issues are um, uh, very severe in some of the cases. So we have to take uh, taking, uh, this thing in mind. And keeping in mind, uh, we have to uh, prepare ourselves how to get the most benefit um, uh, uh, results or the outputs from the banking as well as from the customers and the whole ecosystems. In the banking area is that, and in the normal area, in the normal course of uh, workings, we are using the social medias. We don't know whether social media is good enough or not. In my opinion, we have to take care of the fintech, this is security, and the people should be aware about the security issues uh, related with the uh, financial technologies. In one hand, in another hand, the banks, the financial institutions should take care of the uh, new avenues in the financial industry. So cashless society should be there to um, protect our uh, economy, to protect our uh, um, uh, overall financial industries. And the, um, the new generations are very, uh, very much aware about the uh, financial technologies. This is on the financial part, but in other part, the social media part. We have to take care about what are the rules and regulations, why it is uh, very necessary. Right now, bullying is very much uh, uh, increasing in rate in the world. We don't know. We are using the mobile phones. Who are taking care of our mobile phones? We are using our computers, laptops. We are using uh, laptops in our way. But in the meantime, someone captures our photos, someone captures our activities, and uh, it may be used for bad use. So we are not keeping uh, mind in the uh, mobile phones what we are using. We are not, um, I'm sure to say that more than 98% of the people in Nepal are not using uh, the securities in the mobile phone. If you go and ask the people in, the, in general, uh, do you have any um, antivirus or any endpoint security they have used, uh, used in your uh, um, electronic device? People say yes, in laptop they are using. But in mobile, they are not using. But they put the, the, keep their mobile in their hand. Right now, the, um, the AI, artificial intelligence, are so much uh, aware that Let's take an example. If you go the same, if you ask for the same thing in five or six different supermarkets, keeping your mobile in your pocket, 
and uh, go in the evening and use your uh, Facebook, you will get the uh, advertisement of that uh, product. This is how. This is the AI that the system, the, some people are capturing the information from your mobile device that you don't know. That's going on in uh, your uh, background. So this is very important. So everything we have to uh, keep secure so that no one can destroy our image, no one can do the bullying in the uh, future. So you have to use the security uh, solutions that antiviruses are there, endpoint securities are there. You have to use uh, as you use in your uh, laptops, using the mobile, mobile phone. You don't care of the mobile phone, but you are keeping your mobile phone in your hand, in your pocket, and uh, you are using uh, that mobile phone, uh, phone to use your the social media, use your um, uh, emails, use your uh, banking, credit cards, everything you keep in your mobile, but you are not uh, securing your device. This, uh, you are in very vulnerable there.